All right, y'all, we're into a brand new series on Fay Farm. Huge thank you to the devs for hooking us up with this early build of the game. This game releases on September 8th, I believe, um, on PC and Nintendo Switch. This is kind of like a, a cute, adorable farming sim, cozy farm sim that can be played up to a four person multiplayer. Mm -hmm. um, it's made by the same people, or at least it's, I, I, I believe it's dev by the same people that did Dauntless, that kind of monster hunter like. Wow, Morgan. really? Yeah. Um, Phoenix Labs. So uh, we're going to all start a new game, go through the process of character creation. The first like 30 minutes of the game is is kind of like a forced tutorial where you can't play multiplayer. So to the YouTube audience, we'll probably cut out some of that. Mm -hmm. um, but then we'll all be in the same farm together. So Cheer. let's get into this. Chat to Twitch chat. I'm going to ask you... What should I name our farm? Egg. Oh my god. We got Arby's, we have the meats, Schmeet Farms. Uh, Schmeet Farms. <laughs> Schmeet Farms. So, Schmeet Farms is pretty damn good. Schmarby's. My goodness. Schmarby's? My goodness. Schmeet, Schmeet Farm. Schmeet. It's Schmeet. Uh, okay. Let's get into it. I've turned down the volume of the music. Please let me know if it's still too loud. Schmarbies. We go, Schmeet. Go get, we got the Schmeet. We got the Schmeet. <laughs> okay. Oh, they have pronouns. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Check for high eyes. Uh, let's see here. Can I now, have these space are, buns without... Whenever, whenever Jasmine draws me, she always draws me with rectangular eyes, so that's what I go with. Um, you're welcome. I literally because <laughs> you're uh, welcome. Looking at how Jasmine draws me has helped me in character creators now because I like I never knew what kind of <laughs> eyes and and stuff to go with until I see how Jasmine draws me. You got like downturned eyes. Um. Oh, so like a rectangular head. If I can pick head shape. So. One day, walking along the beach, uh, staring at the sand, a message in a bottle invited me to a faraway land. The author described the island as a need, one like no other, and a home for the brave. It was written so kindly that this person, my me, I've decided to just give up my whole life and sail away into the, the sea to find this place. It was dangerous. My boat was shattered. Wreckage. I'm in tatters. But I finally saw it. Finally. Saw the light. I'm going to be skipping past a little bit of the dialogue because I've already seen it, but I will describe it a little bit. Um, so we've just crash landed in Azoria. This is the mayor here. It's the mayor. Merit is the mayor. And Merritt tells us that uh, Merritt tells us that they were the one that wrote the letter. Ah, mm. it snuck us in. Yep. And mm. you know, they wrote this letter hoping that people could help us with things like, um, you know, the non-stop sea t t world whirlpools, the magic and thorns that have taken over the island. Um, like, they describe the island as being very lovely, but just, like, full of disasters, basically. Hmm. Uh, all right. And then they basically give us a house. <laughs> basically, so. yeah. I mean, that's nice. Super nice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be showing off this town here a whole lot here in a second, but first I kind of just want us to get into multiplayer, so I am going to be just, like, moving through the quest line here. Okay, I want to say one thing, and I know I should probably wait until we're actually all together. I love that all of the tools are just one click. It I was literally going to say the same thing. I all, just hit the same moment. The, yeah. the axe, the pickaxe, the hoe, the watering can, it's all auto swap. Like you do not oh. ever have to swap for it. So there are Context other sensitive. There are other items that you were get with that you do have to swap, but at least everything that you have to do on the farm, I think, is basically auto swap. Um, it's awesome. All right, we're get given a backpack, and now Merritt's got more stuff. To yeah, this us. this is one of the greatest uh, additions to a game like this ever. Um, yeah. All right. 
So we also have some mail. Let's read the mail. Oh. This mail, the very first letter that you get is the letter in the, the message in the bottle. Um, that's that's what they were describing in the opening cutscene. So got a message in a bottle. Gotta rub me the right way. Uh, that's a real can... Okay. Which is in a steady clockwise motion. Okay. Yeah. Oh, is that what it is? That's it's what not it is. counterclockwise? No, definitely not counterclockwise. That's how you get a demon. Oh. <laughs> but what if I want a demon? Alright, well then counterclockwise, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Our first quest oh, is collect let me jump. the basics. All right. There's Where like do only I craft? three arugula in my area. Oh, really? Um, if you yeah, I'm looking around. On the map, if you go to towards East Town, where am I? Know I? That there's more stuff over there. How do Ooh. I get to my house? All the way north. Okay. I like how I, when okay. you swim, you swim like a dolphin. Do you? Yeah. Welcome to my new home. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Look at this outdoor bed. This hammock. I want to be in here right now. I, I wish you could sleep on that hammock. I <laughs> wish I could, too. I would love to rest on this hammock with this You can sit by the fire, though. Can you? To regain energy? You can. Oh, no, I don't know about to regain energy. Please let me oh, okay. sit on the bed. Anyway. Oh, there's okay, more. I gotta, it. gotta go talk to Mayor Merritt. Okay, learning about mail. I, I learned all that from mail. Steve Fielder's clues. I it's don't need, true. I don't need to hear anything from you. Steve told me all about it. The, Merritt, the town mayor there, just told us to build something indoors, but they also told us about the almanac. The almanac, from what I can tell, is just a catalog of every single thing you ever pick up in the game. Hmm. It It is helpful, particularly for, like, critters and creatures, just to see how many bugs and fish there are to collect in this game, which mm -hmm. there are mm. a lot. Nice. Um, but from what I can tell, there's not like uh, an experience to be gained or like quest to solve within the almanac, so. Okay, but can I romance people? You can, and you of can marry people. Of course you can, Anna. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, let's go. That's the water. This, this is going to be the big farm. I, I, I This one actually matters. When I did it on my own, I kind of like did it haphazardly. This one I actually want it to look nice. Learning um, how to farm. So, I, I think I'll put it to the side of where those stairs yeah, come be, down. There we go. I was like, how, like how do you transfer? There. there we go. Can you not move things? Uh, let's just put down. I think you can. Um, okay, use and then cook prepare it all from what i can tell there's almost not a reason not to cook everything that you have because it will sell for more if it's cooked so. that's good not all the time okay. that happens oh you know what the, i take it back i know that there's some fish that if you when you cook fish it all just becomes cooked fish ah, yeah, but yeah, there's yeah. some fish that are more rare and will sell for more if it's raw um okay now let's okay so we cooked up some of that all right, redeem the quest. Oh, wow, even planting. Then not having to uh, swap your tools thing. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so. When happy. you get to making your garden beds, do yeah. it in whatever arrangement seems good to you. I'm going to do it in three by threes because when you do your watering bucket and you stand in the middle, it will kind of auto target everything that's in oh, a three by three yeah. around you. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Neat, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, I three by three it just out of reflex from games like this it's like oh yeah three by three that's that's what a farm looks like when i go out you know uh, further out in oregon and i see farms i'm always shocked that they have fields that aren't three square. by three yeah three <laughs> by threes i know when, when me and jazz go uh strawberry picking we're like oh this would have been so much easier if you guys yeah, just right in three they're by not threes. the proper distance from one another trees have to have a certain space between each other i mean come on so every star, every farm starts with this storage shed thing. This is our, I assume it's also going to be like a shared inventory for all of us once we get in here. Um, it's nice that they start you off with this because your inventory, your backpack's going to fill up quick. Mm. Um, yeah. Okay, so we want to craft some basic beds, and I think that we have enough to make nine. Yeah, we do. Oh, 
I want to speak really quickly to what has become just like the norm for games like this, which is areas of the map blocked off by purple thorny vines. <laughs> yep, it's, it's, a, it's a thing. It's, it is it's a gone into now. many, many worlds. Like, I remember it from Yonder. I think Yonder was the first game I can think of that had the purple miasma-like stuff. And that game came out probably seven years ago. So... Since then, it's in it's in every one of these farming games. I love it. It's a great trope. <laughs> I like that. Um, the very first quest that you have to run away from your farm is to go talk to Eddie the Mariner, and he's mm-hmm. at Stay a While Bay. Stay a while and listen. Stay a while. He has an epic beard. Ash, why didn't you get this beard? Because then you can't <laughs> see the mouth with the beard. You can't steal the beard from him. I mean, that's his beard, you know. Yeah take the mariner's beard that's pretty disrespectful to be honest okay construction how do i construct things uh down on the d-pad for the first thing you have to um be inside oh okay well i guess i'll go inside then that was the trouble i ran into earlier i'm seeing bugs everywhere can i not catch bugs yet yeah they'll they'll force you to do that thing down here um i keep seeing these scrolls so i'm sneaking around and getting them that's that's good Bamboo rug recipe. Oh, Part here's of another a, one. Woven basket. Throughout Whee! chapter one, they basically have oh. you talk to all of the important vendors. Um, one of them is going to be the bug catcher, so mm-hmm. we will do that. Uh, one of them does straight up tell you, like, oh, hey, yeah, sorry, like, we had all of these cool recipes in a nice tome or something like that, and then, like, the wind caught it. And now <laughs> yeah. it's just everywhere all throughout the town. Oh, and man. rather than, like, us clean it up, we feel like this is a gift to you. Yeah, oh, so I've already picked up, like, four of them. <laughs> Hello, crab, can I grab you? I caught a salmon. Does gathering not take energy? It looks like it doesn't. Gathering does not take energy. Oh, right? that's awesome. Uh, I really, was wondering how you'd be able to get energy back if you accidentally used all of your energy. So I'm guessing that's it. And just forage. Really, anything that um, that does not require you to use that tool, that auto switch, like everything that that tool uses, the, mm-hmm. the shovel, the watering, the Lava door. The, mo- the pickaxe, anything that's within that auto switching tool uses mm-hmm. energy. Gotcha. But anything that's not, like fishing, for example, does not. Gotcha. Um, bug picking does not. Oh my god, the crabs. They're cute, Eventually, right? we're gonna we're gonna learn combat here in a bit, and combat does not require energy either, surprisingly. Yeah. Ooh, so, Jazzy, I just did some great. swimming, and I learned what you had, you know, said that you uh, you swim like a dolphin. <laughs> swim like a dolphin, and then when you get to the shore, like at the uh, beach mm-hmm. or whatever, you jump out of the water like a dolphin too. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's incredible. All right, what's up, Beardy? Hmm, cooked arugula. Sounds great. Delicious. <laughs> One time mm-hmm. I ordered a pizza that mm-hmm. had arugula on it, and like in my head, I was like, okay, yeah, it'll have a little arugula on it, and then it'll have other stuff, you know, maybe it'll be like wilted or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like a full salad on top That's of a f- thin pizza. Yeah. I'm I'm not a fan. Like I love salad with my pizza on the side. Mm-hmm. On top is just never my choice. Well, I, yeah, I learned that day that I'd never do that again. So now we're being taught how to catch bugs. So once uh once the bugs have like that blue glow on it, Mel bam. the beekeeper. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep bees. That's gonna be that's I gonna be bees. my jam. I assume you can keep bees. I haven't gotten to that point yet. I've I've very early in the game you they show you how to get critters, uh, other other critters, chickens, chickens and stuff ah, like that. So we can definitely do that. I'm gonna have are. a snail farm. Only snails. There you go. Only snails. Set up that website. Okay, how do I get to my inventory? Okay, we got a net. There. Oh, frog, come back here. Consume. Oh. Consume, 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 consume. You All find right. some more critters. All mm. right, so you do have to swap these tools, but that makes sense because these are ones that you're like, not yeah. necessarily looking at something to swing. Exactly. And like I was saying, every other tool is not going to use energy for you. Um, at least from, from my experience thus far. I'm in chapter two. You did it. Right. Jazzy speed running. So let me What's speed. this green orb? 
So that's energy. As the days progress, or as the day progresses in this game, you uh -huh. get more towards like afternoon, evening. They do actually give you free energy. Yeah, that you just neat. find in those. I jumped parts. up on a roof. So I guess I was incorrect when I was saying the only way to increase your energy is food, because the game does kind of give it to you that's towards cool. the la latter half of the day. Dang, man. Um, oh, fell in the water. And then jumped out like a gosh darn mer person. Oh, who's this guy over here? Are you a wizard? He is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell by the glasses. <laughs> uh, where's Pearl? Pearl's in the center of town. I could tell by your glasses and your demeanor that you're a wizard. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Now let me guess. I gotta water these. Ten is so <laughs> far behind the rest of us. I Listen. mean... Are you surprised? That's how I was gonna how say, I what else is new? <laughs> uh, ooh, berries! Huckleberries! Okay. Love it. So, what Pearl is telling us is that these tables that are right behind um, her, uh, we can we can sell stuff. This is where you sell stuff in this game. What I find a little surprising, they want me to just place anything here, and I, I think I've got like a fish and I can put some bugs there. Um, I'll sell all my bugs. What I find a little surprising is that, unless I'm not understanding something about this game, every day there is a hard cap limit to these four tables of eight. And that is the maximum amount of things that you can sell per day. In this Hopefully game. it's good. Yeah, you gotta so, put the best, best feet forward, I guess. But hopefully that means that money isn't so crucial. Yeah. Um, for progress. Like, of course it'll be necessary, but maybe not so necessary. All right, bedtime, and I finished, uh, I finished right I forgot that as soon as you sell stuff at that table, oh, that's, my inventory that's full. when we can do multiplayer. So, done reviewing, and I will, I will wait for at least Jazzy and Price to, to At least, in. okay, okay. I'm that, here, hi! I saw you, I saw you hi, running Jess. around. What up? So, Hi, we, got, Ash. we got almost all of us here, and is, and is almost done with the tutorial, and then all four of us are here, but I'm, I'm hyped to have multiple people here working on this stuff. So, the next quest is to talk to Alarak, who is the wizard guy. They'll get, he'll give us the, the magic staff, okay, which okay. essentially allows for us to do melee attacks. magic -y stuff? Not yet magic -y stuff, but soon. Um, <gasps> Snails! But Snails! We're going to be playing this for a few hours, and I think that one of the things that I've not been able to accomplish in my six hours of playing, but I think that we can do it, all four of us working together, is at least get the first house upgrade. I think that we can do that. Okay. It's not terribly expensive. Um, so what are we trying, how much are we trying to earn? What are we trying to get? So I think it's like two grand worth of, uh, worth of the, the money. Stuff? And then okay. I know it needs a decent amount of wood, and I think some other stuff too. All I'm right. going to be quickly flowing through the quests to okay. get us progressed to the point where we can start mining in the mine and doing some of that stuff. I'm gonna go to the beach and get a bunch of sand. I think I'm just gonna build a bunch of farm plots to start with. Absolutely. We might not have enough seeds, I, but at least getting that going. Three or four farm plots, I think, is what's sustainable for now. Maybe with four of us, it might be even more than that. Might but, be doable. Yeah. Yeah. It really is going to um, come down to how expensive seeds are. A woman so, just blinked out of existence when I tried to <laughs> talk to her. I haven't showed it off, but like this is the this is the person that we're going to be talking to to upgrade our weapons. But like I said, that there is relationships in this game. There is a romance in this game, and if you look at the start oh, menu, cute. there's a there's a relationships button that shows you who your friends are, kind of like what level of friends you're at, mm -hmm. acquaintance, stranger, mm. straight up friend um and then Straight there's a romance friend. what there's about gay up friend where's my oh, gay up friends oh I, th I think that that's also very attainable in this game too huh? um okay <laughs> listen oh no i get it it's it's i'm down with it um, i need to know oh, oh, and it's boy. just you all right oh, oh jesus oh. sailor moon it i'm i don't know how Whoa! i'm back run Bone prison ah! power run! no oh, no i was trying oh, no. i went for the water Okay, okay, this the is water scary. is doing nothing! The water, it does nothing! Oh, there's so many oh, glitches. No, my there's oh, so many. Oh,